Hey guys, my video is gonna be a little longer today because I'm gonna go over IP pins, identity protection pin numbers. And that's where you get to affix or attach or include a pin number that's generated by the IRS. Only you and the IRS will know this number. That's going to be, well, of course, your tax preparer if you're using one. And we'll also know. <laughs> We'll prepare that return, include that number on it. And that's the only way the return will get submitted to the IRS. Otherwise, it will be rejected. Okay, so um, the pins are good because they protect you against nefarious parties taking your information and filing a false return using your, obviously, your name and so forth. And it also protects your dependents. And I'll give you a quick story of my client, well, most recently, my client, and another client in the past who had the same issue where the spouse, the wife, ex wife in this case, or in those cases, took the information that she already knew about the children and claimed those dependents inappropriately on her tax return. And it was, and if you've ever had it to deal with this before, you know, when you submit a tax return by paper, it takes a long time to process. The IRS has to investigate. And usually they are on the side of the personal file first. So you have to you have to really bring forth a very convincing argument as to why they should allow you to claim after the fact. In the first case, the taxpayer in the first instance when this happened a few years back. The taxpayer had all the documentation to support. It just took a long time for them to get their refund. So we try to avoid that. And so I want to walk you through actually applying for IP PIN. And I'm going to use myself as an example. I'm going to apply for my IP PIN. I've never uh, had an IP PIN. This will be the first time. So I'm going to use myself as an example. I'm going to walk you through that, how that works. And then from there, you'll be able to um, do it yourself, okay? Um, so I'm gonna share my screen. Now this is, I'm gonna move my segue the way here for a quick second. This is the irs.gov site. I did a search IP pin. So I went to irs.gov, typed in IP pin in the search field bar and voila, get an identity protection pin. Okay, so um, it helps people, it helps prevent the misuse of your social security numbers for unfraudulent tax returns, which I said before. And there's, there, there's a whole bunch of information on this page once you click in there. Um, yeah, how to get the IP pin, which is where we're gonna start. Alternative tools. There's a FAQ um, that talks about stuff like uh, who, who can apply. Um, talks about lost IP pins, what to do. Talks about when they issue them. Talks about the letter you receive in the mail. They usually send these out January, I think the end of December through January. That's when you get your pin so you can use it for the current year's taxes. So. These are generated every year, okay? So, all right, anyway, so I'm gonna go in here. I don't wanna spend an entire time talking about it. I wanna show you. So I'm gonna go sign in with me. I've already created it, created an account with the IRS. And so there's a whole process to get that done. I'm gonna walk through that today. That's a video for another day. But anyway, you once you get verified by the IRS and you, you're able to create an account, you can then sign in. So I'm gonna sign in um, and actually I already have a, I already have login credentials, like I said before, as a tax pro and as an individual taxpayer, okay? So I'm gonna enter my, I think this is the one. Okay, submit that. And then maybe, maybe, maybe there's two factor authentication with this. I believe it is, yeah. So it's it's asking me for the code. 
I'm going to input the code. Um, Okay, enter the code and shows like all the times I've logged in, I guess for the last five times. And so I'm going to continue. And here you go. I did this pin. I did the protection, identity protection pin. I don't know why I keep saying identity theft because that's really what it really protects against. Identity theft, but it's called the identity protection pin, IP pin. Uh, so thank you for your interest in the pin. Uh, it says obtain your pin. Um, yeah, it is the, the entire blur about you know um, a secure way to, to obtain your pin, and um, you can choose you can choose to utilize the service, obtain your pin anytime. Blah blah blah. Okay. So we're going to continue, okay? We'll continue. Congratulations. Your 2023 identity pin is, wow, it's giving me the pin already. Okay, so guys, I already I was already logged in. You see, it's going to show in my account here, the pin number here. So you get the pin right away. Okay, so um, I didn't know you actually get the pin right away. So that's news for me. I thought you had to wait for the for it to come in the mail. But since it's still well, it's still early, I guess it's usually they send these out, the letters out in January. But uh, I guess you get an electronic version of it before you get the one in the mail. So anyway, shows me what to do. I'm not going to say my PIN number. I'm going to actually redact this once I complete this video. Um, you can print this page. And secure it along with your tax records. Um, so you always want to print this page out. Never leave the page sitting around so that anyone can access it. Keep it in a safe place with your tax documents. And that's going to be good for you. And so here's a whole bunch of stuff here. Like I said, you know, you'll know, need to enter this or your tax professional you need to enter this code when they prepare your return, otherwise the return will go nowhere, okay? Um, even if you're filing a paper return, uh, you need to put the pin on there, okay? Um, so use on federal tax returns, uh, 1040, 1040 SSPR, I guess PR is a Puerto Rico and CNS is the SS1. Uh, never reveal your pin 21, you can use the PIN on, on uh, state income tax returns. You, you, sorry, you can't use them on the state income tax returns. Well, usually um, you, you need to file the federal before you get to the state anyway. Usually you can't file the state without having filed the federal. So I'd say someone will not be able to e-file any of those returns without having this IP PIN. So if you've applied for it. So anyway, guys, that's it for me. I just want to demonstrate how to get in, how easy it is to get into create your IP pin. And of course, you need to obviously have an account with the IRS first before you can get the IP pin. Okay. So if you don't know how to do that, yeah, I'm going to probably make a video on that. Or you can just give me a call and I'll walk you through it. Okay. Thank you guys. Um, just remember, it's Wayne Scully from W. Scully CPPC. Um, we are a virtual firm. We have office space in Queens, uh, Forest Hills, Queens. We can meet clients face-to-face -face as needed by appointment only. At W. Scully CPPC, we focus on providing solutions to landlords, flippers, and real estate pros in the New York tri-state area. So we can save them thousands of dollars. At WSCI CPPC, we say taxing is their job, saving their saving uh, saving is ours, so we give you hundred dollars, and I mean that. Before I go, I'm having a webinar March first. How to how to um how to protect yourself from IRS and resolve your tax debts. 
that's the name of the webinar and you can get free tickets by clicking the url that's going to be inside this video or um or um you can just search eventbrite okay so thanks again guys it was great i'm gonna actually uh, end my screen share here and I'm going to stop my screen share. And yeah, so I'm back. So guys, thanks again for spending a couple of more extra minutes longer than my usual video with me. I appreciate you guys and you take care until next time. Bye.